What's going on there guys, my name is Matt or Chewy, as most of you will know me as, and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today we find ourselves in Asia, in Japan. As you can see, right in front of us is a rather large volcano, Mount Fuji, of course, sitting just to the west hand side of uh, Tokyo area. We're back in the TBM 930 today. I love this little aircraft, I really do. It's, uh, it's so much fun to fly. And so we're gonna take a trip in this thing, from a small little airport with the uh, iCal code Romeo Juliet Golf Oscar, which is right next to the mountain. And uh, we'll go for a sightseeing tour around it and then attempt to land back into here. Whether I'm successful in that uh, goal, we'll see though. So uh, into the aircraft we go. And uh, once again, probably not gonna be the most accurate startup procedure, but let's just get this thing rocking and rolling as soon as possible. So we'll move the crash bar up, put the battery on and set the main generator as well. We'll get the nav and strobe lights on as we're gonna start an engine straight away. Um, we'll put the AUX BP to uh, on and then turn on the engine starter. And the aircraft should start to come alive, hopefully. There we go, prop starting to move. Looking for an NG of about 13%. And then we'll move the throttle control to the low idle position you'll see there. I'm not too sure on the NG when we move it to the high idle position, but we'll do it nice and quickly. Oh, it's moved it from high idle and put it into the uh, default throttle area. That's fine. Hopefully it will be okay. starting to come to life all in the green ranges so hopefully that signal is a good start for us um, we'll pop the AUX BP to auto now fuel tank selector to automatic as well we'll come down the bottom um, I won't bother with the inertial separator today we'll put the pitot heats on and we'll put the bleeds to the auto position as well one notch of flaps to the takeoff position like so and then everything looks like it's in the green band so we're good uh, so for departure, we'll just swing the nose around 180 degrees and then depart off runway 20 here. And uh, I'll try and not hit Gary again in the, uh, in the aircraft as we swing it around 130 degrees. We could do a pushback here if we really wanted to, but um, it's a little bit bugged at the moment with the, with the TBM 930. So take away the parking brake and we'll swing the nose around to the left. Oh, it seems to be pushing us back of its own accord. Need to give it a little bit of power because we're on such a steep slope. How cool is that? Come on, aircraft. You know you want to move. There you go. Onto the grass. That's fine. I think this aircraft is actually capable of landing on grass. Right, okay, cool. So uh, let's move back a little bit, get a little bit of a better view. Pop the landing lights on straight away. And then no warnings now. On the CAS. I think that's crew advisory system. So we'll line up for departure runway 20. Quite a short runway. And lots of buildings around as well by the looks of things. Right, we'll hold down the brakes. We'll go and set some power. And let's go and take a tour of Mount Fuji. Watching that torque. Pushed it a little bit too high. So I'm just going to dial that back a little bit. Ooh, trying to keep in the centre. Really struggling. Use every inch of runway. There's about 90 knots. We'll rotate. Ooh, hello, crosswind. Right, there we go. Neutralise the rudders. Positive rate gear up. Oh, my goodness me. Look at that. Okay, flaps up. So we can try and get some more speed. And then again, let's just watch that torque. Went a little bit too crazy on the torque there on that departure, but we're good. Right, watch the bank angle on the turn. Yeah, adding quite a lot of turbulence coming up off the mountain ranges. I guess that's to be expected in some regards. Lovely view just around the general area. Never explored Japan before in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is my first time trying it. And there she is, Mount Fuji. See if we can try and get some more altitude. All's looking good on the torque and everything now. That's all in good stead. Neutralize those rudders again. Trim the aircraft. Oh, sorry. Let's 
So whilst we're climbing out today, I thought I'd ask a question for all of you guys in the channel. And I wanted you to, to answer to see, you know, what kind of videos you'd like to see after this simulator releases. Um, at time of recording right now, it's currently the 3rd of, um, 3rd of August, which leaves us 15 days, just over two weeks away from release date. And I'm planning on doing daily uploads of the simulator, but I'm not too sure what afterwards, whether I should continue with the current style of videos that I've been making before release or whether there's anything kind of specific that you guys would like to see. I've been overwhelmed with comments from people asking me to check out certain areas and fly certain aircraft and things, which of course I would love to do, but I wanted to see what kind of content you wanted to see post-release once all of you lovely people have got this simulator in your hands as well. I'm really excited for you guys to be able to try it because as much as I can talk about the immersion of the sim and show you all the different features it's only when you guys are going to get you know your first hands-on experience that you're able to really see the beauty of this simulator wow, what a view. i've seen mount fuji a couple of times in uh, in the sim when flying in prepared as uh, I, I regularly fly out to tokyo narita airport and a, a bit more recently tokyo haneda as well and so I have seen it in the sim but obviously nowhere near to the same fidelity I wonder how it would look with uh, ortho in x-plane but well, I mean, who needs that now really when you've got this So I think what we'll do is we'll take a trip around the edge and do kind of like a complete circle and then we'll go and see what's going on at the top. We'll bring the speed back and see what's going on. So Mount Fuji, of course. Crazy, crazy, crazy volcano that last erupted uh, in 1707, I believe, according to the Wikipedia page that I've definitely not got open right next to my left screen. Part of the World Heritage List is a cultural site on June 22nd. Elevation all the way up to just below 12,400 feet. And apparently, it's the second highest volcano located on an island in Asia. So there you go, maybe you've learned something new today. I have. The terrain here on the... Uh, on the Garmin system, it was so cool. Switch to MFD mode and then just bring the range back a little bit so you guys can see it in full effect. What a stunning area. Let's go outside again for some more nice views. I would not want to get stranded on that. I would I would be very, very worried right now if our aircraft suddenly had an engine failure and we ditched anywhere near this thing. But what a sight to behold, eh? And this is the thing with the simulator when I, you know, talk about it feeling alive. Because of all the photoreal imagery, the simulator just feels real isn't the right term that I'm looking for, but I hope you know what I mean. It adds this other element that previously, even if it was, you know, a, a capable thing in, in say, x 11 with that ortho photoreal imagery, you know, it, it wasn't, I don't think it was quite to the same level as this. Looks like there are some houses on top. My God, that's an interesting place to live. How much do you reckon a house would cost on top of Mount Fuji? It would certainly be a great place to retire if you didn't want to be around other human beings, right? Just check how we're doing on the aircraft. Yeah, torque's a little bit high. So let's just bring that back a tad. There we go. You can see right over the top now of the volcano. So cool that that's modelled. See the aircraft starting to fluctuate little 
banks of turbulence. Wow. What a view. Okay, right, well there you go. A look at Mount Fuji in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now for the difficult part. Let's try and head back to land, shall we? So what we'll do is we'll um, continue to swing the aircraft to the right here. And I'll start to drop that altitude down now. And even if we overfly the airport once, just so I get a visual sense of where it is, and then we circle back in again. But let's just watch that rate of descent as well, because we are descending at about 4,000 feet per minute, which is a little bit too aggressive for my liking. I've really been enjoying this TBM. I've flown the TBM before in, um, in X-Plane 11. And I think the thing that I love about this aircraft so much is, well, as you saw that departure, it's short field performance is great. But it's a turboprop, so you've got all of this Garmin system with the great autopilot. You know, you can cruise this thing up to, I think, about 31,000 feet as its um, altitude cap. But with its short field performance, you know, you can fit it into any darn airport that you want it to go in, almost. The vegetation with these trees is just Circling all the way back round, keeping that rate of descent going. How are we looking on speed? Oh, plenty of speed. Nothing to worry about there. And then let's see if we can try to spot where the airport is. That's going to be the tricky one. If you watch my last TBM video, I, uh, I lost the airport on approach. I certainly don't want to do the same here. Luckily see it on my Garmin system. I think we're going to be too high, so it might be a good idea for... Oh, hello, 6,000 feet per minute descent rate. I think it might probably be a good idea for us to, to just overfly the airport. Oh, actually, is that it down there? I think that's it, isn't it? That certainly looks like the apron, yeah. So we're obviously really high on the approach. So what we'll do is we'll... <laughs> my God, that descent rate. I'm really not keeping an eye on it. But again, this is the TBM for you. This is what the, uh, the TBM does. The rate of descent on this thing is crazy. If you idle the throttles and put flight level change on in this thing, phew, it can really go for it. Okay, cool. Right, so we've made visual contact with the field now. We're disgustingly high, but we're making it back. And obviously then the next thing that we'll need to do is to sort out our airspeed. Look at this though. I mean, you know, we're not even looking at Mount Fuji now, but all of this just looks stunning. There's the airfield. Looks like a golf course. It is a golf course. Nice. Looks like another one here. Japan love their golf. Oh! Come on then, tell me where that is. And another golf course. Tell me where that track is. I'm sure some of you guys in the comment section can name that racetrack. Okay, right, let's start to circle back now. Don't get too crazy on that bank angle, Chewie. You're not flying a fighter jet. the airfield. Is that it over there? It's going to be just to the left up here somewhere, isn't it? Ah, there it is. It's right below us. So we're still way too high on the approach. So we'll kind of do some more delay vectors here. Landing gear. And obviously the, the big thing is going to be dropping that speed off as well. Look at the mountain, the volcano. What a crazy sight. Okay, yeah, she's going to ask for my landing gear. Let's see if we can try and turn in now and bleed off some of that speed. There's the airfield. 
but for the first stage of flap should be fine now. And I'm not too sure what the gear limitation speed is, but we'll place the landing gear down just for extra drag. It's quite fun doing this. And I'm making it up. We're way too fast right now. Might be safer for us to shoot another approach at this kind of a speed. Trying to get a little low here just so then that can bleed off. Oh my god, we're clipping the trees. Oh god, that was a tree. Be able to hear Mama Chewy laughing in the background there. Oh god, that was terrible. Let's go around. Let's perform our first go around in Microsoft Flight Don't Simulator. A bolt Don't landing. Sing. Take the Don't gear sing. up and retract Don't one sing. notch of flaps. Don't I'll sing. keep the first Don't notch sing. of flaps in. Don't oh my sing. goodness me, I didn't quite realize that that was going to be as crazy as that. We've got a terrain warning for Don't Sink. But that's fine. We've got a positive rate of climb. Just about 350 feet per minute. And this will give us the opportunity now to sort that speed out. So we're looking at about 85 knots for an approach speed. So when we're sat there at um, 120 on short final, it's probably the best decision to try and go around a little bit earlier. But I don't mind showing you guys these kind of failures. Because it's how we learn, right? Plus it's a good bit of fun. Right, okay. Now let's take the gear and that landing flap speed. Should be good here as well. And then we'll make another turn in. Keep that speed there. That's looking a bit better now. About 90 knots, 85 knots. That's what we're looking for. Watch for that rate of descent. Don't stall the aircraft by pulling up too much. There's the airfield, so it's going to be quite an interesting turn on to the final approach again. I probably should have given myself a little bit uh, further of a final. But hey, we're here now. Speed's looking good. Vision with the runway. Turning nice and early. Try not to overshoot or undershoot the turn. Speed's still looking good. Probably a little bit high, but I don't want to clip the trees again after last time. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh he's done it again, he's floating it. This is turning into Samos, all right, one more time. Well, I'll tell you what, to save you all having to watch me do another circuit, I'll pause the video and I'll come back and see if we can land third time lucky. 2,000 years later. Okay, just about to turn final again. Got myself a little bit more altitude to play with now and a slightly longer run on to final approach. Speed's looking exactly where we want it to. There's the runway. I think I want to drop the power out a little bit earlier. Okay, that runway does not look straight as well from this point of view. Amazing. Okay, right, let's just keep on top of that power now. Don't get too fidgety at the controls. Third time lucky. Concentration face is on right now. You guys can't see it, but I can assure you it is. Don't want to clip that tree, but I kind of need to. Brakes, keep it on the runway, Chewy. At least, Woo. hey, well, a terrible landing, but we're down, and that is the most important thing. Great stuff! What a fun little airport that is, Romeo Juliet Golf Oscar. Highly recommend it. Give it a go, folks, when the sim releases on the 18th of August. And there you are, Mount Fuji in the background. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you do want to see all the latest Microsoft Flight Simulator content. Leave a like if you enjoyed my terrible landing. 
and comment below with any feedback. Much appreciated. Thank you so much, guys, for watching.